of Long Beach. Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Mike. And JJ. We've got the biggest, well, oldest brother versus the youngest brother rivalry, Polly at Cabrillo. No gilding the lily on this one. Let's get right in it. These big, fierce rivalry games, no other way to do it. Cabrillo coming out, the, the Jags with her, her coat on fire. Derek Stewart spreading the ball around, giving it to John Scanlon. Just get out of the way. Get all the way out of this place. <laughs> Runaway manhole covers. Scanlon dishing out some punishment as they get down to Polly's 15, but this on fourth down. Let down for the Jags, and of course, high school football, big play for the defense, yields a big play for the offense, as Kelton Malvo takes him across midfield. No, 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 Mike, it's Malvo. Did I uh, forget to pronounce the silent X? Exactly. Malvo down to the goal line, and then, ladies and gentlemen, a special moment, the defensive tackle. Scoop and, scoop and score? No, that's a legitimate offensive touchdown for defensive tackle slash fullback slash rugby style kicker Mike Kao. Did he drop at the extra point? He didn't, but I wish that he had, just, just to reward you for that. On the other side of the ball, James Nelson picking off Stewart, taking the long route for a five-yard return, and you know when Chase Hales gets the ball, he's going to spread it around. I've been saying it all season, best deep ball in Long Beach. Yeah, no doubt, and a, a great high ball, too. He was putting it up there for his receivers, and Donald Bird flew up and got that one. Like a G6, Mike. <laughs> Then another one from Hills. This again, it's that throwing the, the little mini fade. That one to go forth. Holly, after a Cabrillo penalty, goes for the onside and gets it. Jeff Turley with the recovery under the pile there. Defensive coordinator and on the hands team. <laughs> yeah, I should have. I probably should have thrown Junior in there. Richie Smith with his longest reception of the night. Kind of a curving little loop down there inside the twenty. And then Hales is gonna. That's right. Put it up again. This time Josiah Blandon on the connecting end. Holly with a commanding 35-0 lead. So years. many weapons, man. Yeah, he and we haven't even gotten to Ernest Petway or Richie Smith hasn't kind of touched down. Now this, Cabrillo's best play of the game. The trickeration! The trickeration, the double pass you may have noticed from your hash marks as that striped gentleman right there did. Four, two forward passes, not allowed to do that on the next play. Ooh, not exactly the, uh, the spark they were looking for. Probably isn't going to get anything out of this, but anytime you knock the ball up in the air and then catch it, I'll probably put it on the highlight. Absolutely. Rabbits with a, with a uh, five-touchdown lead going into halftime, and in the second half, Salamo Fiso steps up in a huge way with two solo tackles here to keep Cabrillo pinned deep on a defensive clinic mission. And when you're pinned deep, you're putting pressure on... <gasps> That's number two. No way. For Mike Teo. Who's so not used to scoring touchdowns, he thinks maybe if he ever lets the ball go, the touchdown won't count. I think he was just trying to be classy and take it to the ref. <laughs> for sure. The 44-yard field goal by Hayden Hunt. Anything over 35 goes in the film. You put it through, we put it on. It's just the way we do. And uh, and then, since, you know, it's it's a, a, a ton of great storylines for poly players. Davis Atkins doesn't drop this one. He said after the game he felt like he dropped 10 this year. This one he hangs on to, so he's going to go ahead and get six interceptions worth of celebrations out of his way. Waiting all year for that one. <laughs> for sure. He's had a huge weight coming off of his shoulders. Nice moment for him and a great moment for Jeremiah Hollowell. For working hard all year and finally gets that breakout run like you know players love to see. He's a big man. He's a fullback, and he's going to show it right here. Love how this kid run. Look at those knees like Eric Dickerson. <laughs> One more for good measure. AJ Luke saying goodbye to some of his uh, his old teammates and classmates at Poly. Rabbits rolling towards the playoffs and Cabrillo playing Jordan for a playoff spot next week. And of course, you'll find all that more league football regular season finale coverage right here at GazetteSports.com.